Yo, AB Academy, what's going on? It's your boy Avery B. Today I got an ex exciting video, bro, a special video. Y'all know I love telling stories, bro. I'm about to tell y'all how I feel like being an introvert early on saved and changed my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know what an introvert is, an introvert is somebody who really just to themselves, bro, like who really don't care about too much external stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people find it hard to believe. Like I tell people these days, I guess I'm not no more, huh? Like did I grow out of it, bro? I tell people like, bro, yeah, I'm an introvert. I don't really like talking like that. And they be like, man, shut up. You're a YouTuber. You do all these videos with all these people. You be talking to girls. You be doing this. I be like, bro, I promise I'm an introvert. And they never believe me. So I'm about to tell y'all why I feel like being an introvert changed my life. And in the description, I mean, not description, in the comments, y'all let me know your experience. If you are an introvert, if you are an extrovert, if you think you can change from being an introvert to an extrovert. Because I feel like I didn't change. I just evolved. You know what I mean? I feel like the evolution of me brought me into a different circumstance to ex exuberate, you know what I'm saying, my introvertedness to other people. That's how I feel, my nigga. I still, I still classify myself as an introvert. But I'm about to tell y'all a couple life stories that that made me a better person. But in the moment, it, it didn't, it didn't look good. It didn't look good in the moment. I promise. But it made me a better person. So we're gonna start off in middle school, right? So middle school is that age. Well, for my class at least, bro. I know if you're older, you probably look at our generation like, man, y'all disgusting. And me, I look at the younger generation like, man, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? So it's like that every time, and that's a terrible cycle. I hope we change it, and that's what I'm here for—to change it. I'm here to stop it. I'm here to stop the cycle. But nevertheless, when I was in middle school, bro, that was the age where we started to become freaks. You know what I mean? Middle school, going into high school, you started to like the other sex. You started to think about that type of stuff a little bit more, and a lot of people fell victim to losing their virginity in middle school. I know that might sound terrible. That might sound disgusting. And for me, my nigga, you about to see in this story, it sounded disgusting to me, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? I seen some girls, you feel me? Some girls were cute, you know what I'm saying? I would talk to girls a little bit when they talked to me. I wasn't tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... I was scared of pussy, my nigga. I'm just going to say it. I was scared of pussy in middle school, you feel me? And if you know Avery B from YouTube, probably like in 2019 through 2023, you probably was like, scared of pussy, you? No way. You talk to all the bitches. You know what I'm saying, bro? I was not, mm -mm, I'm straight, shawty. I just, I'm going to do my work and I'm going to take my ass home. You feel me? So one day. We was in, what class was this? We was in history class. We was learning some history, some boring ass shit, bro. And the girl that I'm about to talk about in this video, let's give her a name. The girl, Peach. We gonna call her ass Peach, you feel me? I hope I don't slip up and say her real name. If I do, I'm gonna block that shit out because she don't need to see this. But Peach was in my class and Peach happened to ride the same bus as me, man. You know, Peach stayed probably like um, a six minute walk from me. You know what I mean? Not a long walk, but not next door. You know what I'm saying? Peach stayed six minutes away from me. Me and Peach used to chop it up a lot. Me and Peach went to the same elementary school, so we knew each other since elementary, and now we are in late middle school, like seventh, eighth grade, right? You feel me? So, Peach was literally in this class with me in history class, and she was talking crazy. Peach was talking that tough shit. You feel me? I'm talking about, I'm in the class, I'm chilling. I look up, and Peach would be like, you feel me? Like, I'm like, girl, what you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really not trying to, like, give her no attention. Because, like I said, bro, like, you could tell she on the type of time. And I'm scared of pussy, bro. I don't want no smoke, shawty. Like, I'm straight. I'm just now, I'm just now developing, little mama. I don't even want no smoke with you. You feel me? But she on that. You see what I'm saying? And I know she was on that because I eventually went over there. I was like, yo, what's up? She was like, um, after school, after I get off the bus, come to my house. Like, I'm trying to show you something. I'm like, what the hell you talking about? She said, I'm trying to show you something. She said something, but I'm not going to say that because that shit, that shit weird to say. You know what I'm saying? Because we was young as hell. But she literally said something. She was like, yeah, I'm trying to da-da-da. I'm trying to show you this. I'm trying to show you that. And I was like, I can't. I, in my head, I'm like, bro, I can't just say no and run even though I wanted to, my nigga. I wanted to say no. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? I had to like play it cool because I'm like, this girl can't be serious. She's just fucking talking. She can't be serious. But I can't go out like no bitch. So I'm like, all right, whatever. We're going to see. We're going to see. So I'm, I'm holding up on to this. We're going to see. She's like, okay, we're going to see. We're going to see. So we got on the bus. The whole ride home, she talk about the same shit. We at the back of the bus. She talking about the same shit. Oh, yeah, you're going to see. You're going to see when you get off this bus. When you come to my house, you're going to see. So I'm like, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. 
And then I look on and be like, what the fuck? Is she serious? What the fuck? She can't be serious. We we eventually inevitably got off the bus, bro. And I got off at her stop. Like I told you, I was six minutes walk from my house. I got off the bus to her spot. And come to find out, she was dead serious, bro. She like, come on, my mama don't get off work till so-and-so. Come on. Man, when I tell y'all, I turned around and ran my ass home. Boy, I ain't want no smoke with her. Did not want no type of smoke. And in a moment, bro, I got home and I was like, damn, man, that's embarrassing. Like, what the fuck? That's so embarrassing. Like, I was so like, damn, like this girl was trying to put it on me and I ain't go. I was scared. I'm scared of this girl, bro. And at the time, like, I got a brother. He like a ultra player. You know what I mean? If he was in that situation, he would have took her ass down three times. And then went to the neighbor and took her down. You know what I mean? And me, I'm like, bro, I'm scared of this shit. Why am I scared of this? Like... I'm, I'm a shy ass nigga, what the fuck? That's how I'm thinking, right? Fast forward, I'm so thankful for that experience to not give up something so vulnerable, so young. Shout out to Peach. Peach got like three kids right now. <laughs> Peach got hella baby. I'm sorry. Hey, if you watching this, I hope you not. I hope you don't know who I'm talking about. I hope you never come across this video. But Shotty got kids now, right? And I feel like the reason she got kids is because she was so like... On that, you know what I mean? The fact that she was on that in middle school, it's inevitable for you to eventually, and she had kids young, probably like late high school she had kids, you feel me? But like, I was so on some shit like, nah, I don't know, I'm, I'm tight scared of that, I don't really fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I held out and the fact that I was so introverted and the fact that I was so like to myself and the fact that I was so shy it helped me navigate those type of situations to eventually come into that stage when I was really ready for it. If I would have did that then when I wasn't really ready, bro, I probably would have crashed out a long time ago. I probably would have been a freak ball a long time ago. I probably would have went in high school just looking at girls for this and not worried about getting about that bitch. You see what I'm saying? So much stuff could have went wrong if I would have made that decision to do that then. You know what I mean? The fact that I waited, the fact that I was scared, the fact that I was an introvert, the fact that I was shy shaped my life in a way that it should have shaped it, right? So that's one experience. Let me tell y'all another one. In high school, bro, y'all know that's the time when you go to a lot of parties, you do a lot of things, you get into a lot of stuff that you're not supposed to, but you want to because that's the high school experience. That's what your friends doing. That's what the people around you doing. Let me tell y'all, bro. In high school, I never went to a party. Never went to not one party. I never drunk alcohol. I never smoked weed. I never did none of that in high school, bro. You feel me? In high school, I was I was a good ass kid. I ain't never got suspended. I got ISS one time and it was on some bullshit. You feel me? I was on some chill shit. I was cool. I was that type of nigga that everybody know, everybody cool with. Oh, that's that fresh nigga, bro. That's that that's that fresh young nigga that be in school. That got da 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 da. I was that nigga. I played sports. You feel me? Everybody know who I am. I was on some chill shit. Ask anybody I went to high school with and they gonna be like, bro. That nigga was chilling. Like, he was literally chilling. He was just at the desk on some vibey shit. You feel me? I might play a couple beats with the pencils. But I say this to say, bro, I was not the nigga that was going to all the parties. If I got invited to a party, I was like, nah, I'm probably ain't going to go. I'm straight. That ain't me. I, don't, I never knew why I didn't want to. I just knew I didn't want to be around people. I remember in specific where I was at my cousin's house, and they was, they was party animals. They went to all the parties, and they hosted parties. They had a party at their house one time. It was for one of my cousins' birthday, and they had it in the garage, my nigga. The whole night, everybody in the garage turning up. Everybody literally my age, too. You feel me? It was my age group. Everybody in the garage turning up, bro. I am in the second living room. It's like a living room, and then it's like some attached shit where it's like dark. Don't nobody be at. I was in that bitch a whole party on my phone. People would come in like, bro, what the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Like, are you okay? And that shit always bothered me, the fact that people said, are you okay? And I'm like, because I don't want to party? I, I, don't, I, I can't be okay? And I remember thinking when I was younger, like, bro, am I, am I fucking weird? Like, why don't I like this type of shit? Because I genuinely did. Like, I genuinely didn't. It's not something that... It's not something that I tried not to. It's not something that I was consciously like, oh, no, no parties. It, it hurts, but no parties. I was like, ugh, I don't want to go to that shit. That shit stank all in that bitch, like... You got all them people crowded around each other? Fuck no. I genuinely didn't want to do it. And the first party I went to, I remember, I was out of high school. I was 19 years old. The first party I went to, and it was like, 
Y'all know when you go to the parties and like it be on some like you stand by the wall, you get twerked on by the girl, and then the girl goes to the next. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? This shit boring as hell, bro. That was the most the weirdest shit ever to me. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, this ain't me, bro. I don't know why, but this ain't me. But I tell y'all, I tell y'all that to say like the fact that I didn't go to these parties, which probably would have introduced me to stuff that would have changed my life, altered my life forever, made me the person I am today. The fact that I withheld on that temporary satisfaction to eventually just do what I wanted to do, bro, it made me more focused. It focused me in on what I really wanted to do. It taught me lessons. It made me the person that I am today, bro. So I said all these stories just to say, bro, if you're an introverted man, don't feel weird about it, bro. Embrace it. Like, literally, the fact that you're introverted is a blessing in disguise. You know what I'm saying? I'm only saying that because growing up, I was like, damn, like, am I weird? Am I the weird one for not wanting to be around these niggas? You know what I'm saying? And I just want to let you know that you're not weird for being an introvert, bro. That shit fine. You know what I'm saying? That shit hard. Being in your head hard, like controlling your own thoughts is tough. Because a lot of people, a lot of people can't do that. So shout out to you if you're an introvert. Drop in the comments if you're an introvert. If you're an extrovert, shout out to you too, goddammit. Shout out to everybody, man. <laughs> yeah, it would be out.